Hey, I'm Justin, and we got Matt here behind the camera. We just pulled up at the shop of Leland Lures. We're gonna go figure out uh, how to set up the trout magnet and fish today with Jeff Smith. Come on, let's go. Hey Justin. Hey, how's it going, Jeff? Oh, good. Good ready deal. Ready catching fish? Man, I'm ready. I'm just glad you and I get to fish and Matt gets to not. I know, isn't that exciting? It is exciting. I've been really, really excited about getting up here and checking out all the things you got set up. Yeah, we got, um, I got a couple poles ready to go. Awesome. And uh, we got one more to go. In fact, you can help out with that last one. That way you can get an idea how we're doing this. Oh, great, good. We'll that's go over all the gear and what we're using because that's a big part of being able to use this product is, you know, knowing how to use it. But here's what we've got. We've got a six foot six pole. Uh, this is the pole we make, but you want a pole that's got a real fast tip so you can cast far, you can set the hook. Uh -huh. A lo little bit longer pole is nice because you get a bit, lo little bit longer drift. Now how does that, when I have a fish on, yes. how does that longer pole? Uh, it helps out a bunch because it takes okay. off the pressure off your line. The okay. longer the pole, it, it's just like um, a bow flex, you know, a bow Great. that, um, you know, it just bends and, and takes the, the pressure off of this line, which is a very important part of our process. Mm -hmm. You, every one of these has two pound test on it. I see. A lot of people will just use a leader, but if you put it all on your spool, you mm -hmm. can cast further. And the river we're going to fish today is a pretty good sized river. So whenever you're wanting to cast 30, 40, 50 feet, if you got four or six pound test with a small little lure on, you won't be able to get there. Plus, you won't be sure. able to drift as natural because mm -hmm. this line is going to be laying on your water from the rod tip to your float. Okay. And so that's going to cause drag. So the two pound test sense. is real, real, real important. Anytime you're in clear water, mm -hmm. we use a fluorocarbon leader. Okay. And, um, this is um, essential. We, we never mm. fish without it in clear water. If you've got murky water, you can get away with it because you do have a little bit of um, weakness from the knot to your lure. But basically what this is doing, fluorocarbon mm -hmm. is invisible underwater to fish because light passes through it. Okay. Any other fishing line, even ours, which is a great color, mm -hmm. when light hits it, it reflects off of it. Now, now, when I go to tie that on, how much of it would I actually tie on? That's good. Yeah, what we want to do is we want to tie about 18 inches on. I sure. can tie a longer piece if mm -hmm. I'm fishing in deeper water because we're going to want our float, the easy trout float, to be above that knot. Okay. Because fluorocarbon, because it's so dense, floats and everything else will want to slide on it. And plus, you don't want to go below that knot simply because, um, you know, you're going to have a spot there that's always going to catch. You can't slide past I it. I see, I see. And basically, tying your leader line on, what you want to do is you want to match your two ends up. Okay. Okay. And then what you do is you just make that one line, and then you're going to tie that in a triple knot. You're going to wrap it around your fingers, and you're going to put that through the loop three times. I see. One, two, three, and then just knot it down. Okay? And then when you knot it down, see all my tags right mm -hmm. there? We can trim those off. And so basically we trim those off, and then we have our line connected to the... Um, the two pound test. What we want to do then is we want to get a uh, trout magnet. Um, today, what my color? guess is, yeah, we're what? just going to say pink. Yeah, pink. Uh, especially earlier in the spring, we're going to an area that doesn't have a whole lot of pressure. Uh, I like to start with bright colors. Really like to start with this pink or a chartreuse color. Um, now, which one would you say in here out of these that you just almost couldn't go wrong with? It's just an Well, to be honest with you, that kit right there has all of my favorite colors in it. Mm -hmm. But I would start with the pink and chartreuse the mealworm and the black and green. Mm -hmm. White is always a great color. And so yeah, all these right here are really good. Uh, and you'll find out certain days they will not hit one color and another color they'll just totally destroy. Okay, great. And basically what you want to do then, you've got your, your, your two pound test on, your fluorocarbon leader, then now you have your, your, your trout magnet. What you want to do is you want to push this so it comes right out the split of the tail and is real straight. See how I straight see. that is? Yeah, yeah, that's... Right out the split of the tail. Mm -hmm. See there's split right there. Okay. And so now it just comes right out the split. That way it's nice and it's not kinked or anything like that. Exactly. On there. If it's kinked mm -hmm. when it drifts in the current, it'll have a twist to it. And, and that straightness really helps out with um, the presentation of it. So now we're going to tie this to our leader line. Okay. So basically any fishing knot that you can tie to your, your leader line 
uh, it will work. One that's got lots of twist in it, mm -hmm. um, you know, improved knot. This one is a, a type of polymer knot that we tie, but any type of knot that you can tie would be good. I like to wet that line, or it'll, especially two pound test, will really it's kink up on you. I see, yeah, because it's um, so thin, it, right? It's, it gets so hot from the friction of sliding the knot down. Okay. Okay, so now we're good. We've got our fluorocarbon leader on from here down. Now all we've got to do is attach our easy trap float. Now you see the easy trap float's got a slot in it. That's okay. So all we have to so do. You don't have to actually do anything but just slide right. that right into Slide the, it on there. The and line. then we just take our peg and pinch it to the inside of the float the depth we want. Basically, when we get on the river now, all we have to do is adjust this depth. That pinch will lock it into place, right? Pinch will lock okay. it into place. And then if it wears a spot on the side of the float, just move it around and find a different spot on the float and re pinch it. But basically, that's our gear right there. Now, just to double check, where is the tie on for the fluorocarbon? It's right there. See the knot? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we have our knot right there, and the float is above it. And so now we shouldn't fish any shallower than this, so we'll just be keep going up and down with our, our float. And you'll see where this is very important. You can be an inch or two shallow and not catch them. Oh, wow. And so you got to get that thing drifting real close to the bottom. Trout are going to feed on the bottom. Most of the time, you know, just a few inches up off that bed. So this is going so, to depend on depth right here. That's is right. That, okay. That's right. So now we're about two feet. We'll probably fish anywhere from four to six feet deep okay. with the water being up today. All right. So we've got all of our gear. We've got all our stuff. We know where we're going to go. Why don't, why don't we get the stuff in the boat and get ready to hit the stream? Awesome. Let's get going. Stay over there on the shore, or you want to come and join in on the action.